Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's and the greatest team on earth. Chuck E. Cheese knows that the most important decision that we'll ever make is who we hire. Why are we so picky? Because we are a team. We know that to ensure our main objective that every guest leaves happy, it's going to take people like you. People with pride, who aren't afraid to work hard, who take care to look sharp, and who truly care about the guest experience. And that's going to take a total team effort. Our purpose, your purpose, is to serve the guests. And if you're not serving the guests, you're serving someone who is. So congratulations on making our awesome team. Now that you're part of the team, you're about to find out how all the magic is made. Along with learning how to make magic yourself, are you ready to serve our guests? Because here we go. And don't forget to pay close attention. You will be tested later to ensure that we've done our job training you. Our guest's first impression starts before they even enter the building. As a team, we want to ensure that the parking lot is clean, the windows and buildings shine, and we even rush to open the doors for our guests whenever we can. Now that's hospitality. Carpets, decor, and you need to shine for our first impression to be the one they'll remember. This also ensures that we set the pace for a great day for our guests. The first impression is everyone's responsibility, but there are four specific areas that you need to clearly understand that you as an all-star cast member are responsible for. Kid Check is the first area that we're all responsible for, an integral part of what we do. It is one of our main points of difference and the reason many of our guests visit Chuck E. Cheese's. Parents know that once they enter the building, they can relax and don't have to worry about the safety and security of their children. We need to ensure that every guest that comes together leaves together. Our guests not only expect a safe environment, they demand it. Beyond that, we take great pride in providing a fun and wholesome family experience. That's one reason kids need to be accompanied by a parent or guardian over the age of 18. And don't forget the E in Chucky stands for entertainment. So we're all on stage from the moment our guests first walk through the door. Kid Check should be staffed with someone responsible and someone knows how to have some fun and generate excitement. It's all about making magic for our guests. So let's take a look at how we make that happen. Things you'll need at the Kid Check stand are stampers, invisible ink, stickers to be used for infants, a pen, some tokens, the birthday list for the day, birthday star and VIP stickers, walk-in birthday balloons, a marker, and cleaning supplies. Now that you have the tools you'll need, let's take a look at the procedures when our guests enter the building and the guests' last impression as they leave. Hi, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. Are you here to celebrate anything or have fun? Okay. All right, well let me go ahead and get you stamped. I'm gonna make sure to stamp you all the same numbers so that way whenever I check you when you leave, everyone who comes together leaves together. And make sure to ask Cindy about how to win some free tokens today. Have a magical day. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. I see we have a birthday. Whose birthday is it today? Dawn's birthday. Dawn's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Dawn. I'm gonna make an announcement so everyone knows it's your birthday. All right, there we go. And a scheduled too. It's scheduled party. All right. Well, Danielle, we'll show you to your table. I hope you'll have a magical time and happy birthday. We have many birthday guests that don't have a scheduled party with us. We want to definitely recognize them as well. Go through the same process: birthday button, birthday star sticker. And these special birthday stars receive a white balloon with their name. Hi guys, y'all ready to leave so soon? Well, let me just check your stamps so I can make sure that everybody came together, leaves together. 37, 37. And there's yours, 37, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time here and have a magical day. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. It was our pleasure serving you, thank you. Excellent job, Marie. Now that's hospitality, you really nailed it. It's amazing how far a great smile and attitude can go. Those guests really appreciate all that you do. Let's review. Make sure to stamp all guests in. Identify first time guests and assist them. Identify and make a big deal out of birthday stars. Direct the parents to the order counter and let them know about how things work here at Chuck E. Cheese's. As guests leave, make absolutely sure that every guest that comes together leaves together. 
verify their numbers out loud so they know we are really checking them. Be sure to ask them if they had a great time. What if a guest didn't have a great time? Just remember SLAM. Smile, listen intently, apologize, and then get a manager. Remember, the kid check area is the first and last place we have an opportunity to make a lasting impression for our guests. So a big smile's a must. You're hired because of your personality, so don't be afraid to use it. Kid check is the first of our four responsibilities for every cast member. Let's take a look at another important area. At Chuck E. Cheese's, we're not just about pizza and sandwiches. We also offer a great salad bar. This makes a huge statement about our product quality. The salad bar is our standard of freshness. When a guest enters our restaurant, they may judge every item we sell based upon the quality of our salad bar. An appealing and attractive salad bar will help us build sales. We offer a wide variety of fresh vegetables, fruits, meats, and prepared pasta salads. The salad bar is the only visible food product on display at all times. It must be maintained perfectly. UPIC stands for Utensils, placed in a 5 o'clock position facing the guest. Product, built to standard, mound what grows in the ground. Remove any damaged or inappropriate items. Ice, built to the top of the crocs. Counter, wipe down with a fresh towel, cleaning any spilled product. And spritz. You can spritz all fresh cut fruits and vegetables with the exception of mushrooms and melons. Spritzing these items will enhance the presentation of the salad bar. Each of these steps should be completed in order and done on a continuous basis during your shift. The beverage bar is another area that requires everyone's constant attention due to the high volume we do and the kids that we serve. It is a reflection of our commitment to cleanliness. We need to ensure that the beverage bar is wiped down constantly and that there is little or no ice in the catch trays. To do this, just get a pitcher of hot water and pour it in the catch tray on each side to melt the ice. And don't forget hospitality. When mom approaches with kids, trays, cups, and their hands completely full, why not make a magical moment and help her out? We need to always make sure there's enough ice. So check and fill the ice bins often. Chuck E. Cheese's sure wants our guests to have everything they need, so don't forget to keep the condiments stocked throughout your shift. This includes straws, lids, sugars, lemons, and taking out the trash. Maybe most importantly, we want a safe environment. Make sure you keep the floors clean and dry in both of these areas. To do this, just magic clean. It's simple. Take a towel and cleaner, spray, wipe, then go over it again with a dry towel to ensure the floor is dry. We never use a mop when guests are in our building. A guest could fall and we could be held responsible. So let's see, the top five important tasks of the beverage bar. Floors are clean and dry, the counters are clean, well stocked, the garbage is emptied, and the ice bins are full and great guest hospitality. Well, like we said, it's all part of a team effort to ensure our guests have a magical day. Moving on with our areas, we come to the restrooms. This also is an important area in our restaurant. Did you know that many guests judge a restaurant by how clean their restrooms are kept? We believe in a hospital clean environment. There should be no difference between the front of the house, the back of the house, or our restrooms. Put yourselves in the guest's shoes. Would you want to use a dirty restroom? Probably not. We use a checklist to ensure we don't miss a thing. Just follow the checklist and check off as you go. Attached to that checklist should be restroom keys to open any locks for trash or toilet paper. If there are no keys, ask your trainer or manager for them. Check toilet paper and paper towel levels to ensure we never run out. Just open and replace if necessary. Make sure toilets and urinals are flushed and the sinks and mirrors are clean. Ensure the floors are kept clean and dry. Don't forget about the baby changing station. Make sure it's wiped down and clean as well as stopped. Remember, mom and dad's most precious asset are their kids and cleanliness everywhere is critically important to them. 
One great idea is to set the store's timer for every 30 minutes to remind us all to team clean. When the timer goes off, restrooms, beverage bars, and ice are all checked. Now that you've been shown everyone's responsibilities, let's take a look at a few other aspects of our restaurant. Let's start with the back of the house. The first stop is the Oasis Station. We use a variety of chemicals to keep our store clean. Make sure you look through, read, and understand all uses for all chemicals, which are found in the MSDS, the Material Safety Data Sheets. Your trainer will cover each of these chemicals with you and train you specifically how to refill the containers. Because these chemicals are always used, they should always be labeled correctly. Using the wrong chemicals can be dangerous for you and our guest. Read labels. Do not just use a spray bottle because you think it is the right chemical. If you are unsure of the chemical, check with your manager. It's also important to know the proper way to mop floors to ensure they're safe and clean. Your trainer will show you that as well. Keep the Oasis station neat, clean, and organized at all times. Hang mops, deck brushes, squeegees, brooms, and dustpans and try and keep the floors dry. The next stop is the dish area. We use a lot of dishes throughout the day. To clean them is simple. Start by filling up the three compartment sink. The first sink should be filled with hot water mixed with two to three pumps of dish soap. The second sink should be warm rinse water and the third sink should be filled with cold water mixed with two to three pumps of sanitizer. When the first set of dishes are taken to the dish area, wash them first by rinsing them with the spray nozzle then dipping in each of the sinks. When you're done dipping them, place the item in the dish rack. You're done. When the rack gets full, all you have to do is push the rack into the dishwasher and close the door. Don't forget to put an empty dish rack out for the next cast member. What do you think you're going to do when both the dishwasher and the additional dish rack are full? Right, you're going to take out the existing dishes in the dishwasher and push the other rack into the dishwasher. At this point, you'll want to place the wet dishes on the dish rack to air dry, or you can put them back where they belong. Now there's another example of teamwork. Wasn't that simple? Due to our volume, trash is always an important issue to take care of. Make sure we keep this area as clean as possible and always stack your trash. The more careful we are with filling and emptying trash, the easier job of cleanup becomes. Some of the trash actually can be damaging to our floors, walls, and grout between the tiles. For your safety, we can take the trash out only during the day. After sunset, it's not allowed. A manager must be present every time the back door is open. The next stop is the prep area. This area requires caution because we store our knives here. Meet the Wonder Family. Whenever you use the Wonder Knife, you must use the Wizard Glove. All knives are extremely sharp and will cut you. Do not risk your safety because you don't want to wear it. Whenever you prep food, make sure you also sanitize the cutting board by running it through the dishwasher before and after you prep food. The first key to running a good kitchen is organization. Storage rooms need to be cleaned and organized. If you need something out of those areas, make sure you leave the area cleaner than you found it. You'll be instructed to FIFO, which is first in, first out, and our system of rotating our products to ensure rotation and freshness. We place a day dot on all items that cannot be written on to ensure proper rotation. Working in the kitchen may require you to know how to operate certain equipment. Chuck E. Cheese's provides the safest environment for our StarCast members, and you will be instructed on different equipment in the kitchen, such as our ovens, dough rollers, dough bunners and mixers, dishwashers, can openers, and knives and cutting instruments, among other things. You must be 18 years or older to use or clean the dough roller and mixers. Think safety whenever you are in the kitchen area and make sure you've been properly trained before you attempt to work this equipment. We pride ourselves in having a safe and clean environment for our guests. Keeping your areas organized and cleaning as you go is an important part of your job. Be sure to clean your hands often with soap and hot water, at least one minute all the way up to your elbows before handling any type of food. The break area should be clean at all times. Make sure you clean up after yourself. This area is a reflection of the entire cast and where you'll spend time while on break. 
How does it look now? If you get thirsty throughout your shift, feel free to get a quick drink using a paper cone cup. Now that you've been shown the back of the house, let's go to the front of the house and start with the thank you boxes. Whenever the trash gets about 75% or more full, remove that trash can. Turn a beverage tray upside down to cover the hole so our guests know that that can is not in use. Return with the empty trash can, double lined. Next are the tables. As you can probably tell, we have a lot of tables. Great table service begins with the execution of the four pre-bus points. Beverage tray, pizza delivery, mom and dad alone, mom and dad done. Looks like we may have missed them here, huh? It is important to our guest experience that we hit each of these points. Make sure you keep the tables clean and the condiments sparkling. They are always put in this order. The napkin holder goes in the center. The black and red pepper shakers go on the left side with the black pepper in front of the red pepper shaker. The salt and cheese shakers go on the right side with the salt in front of the cheese shaker. Want an easy way to remember? Napkins in the center, dark on the left, white on the right. Some locations also place a marketing table topper on their tables. Check with your trainer or manager on their placement. Along with keeping the tables clean, make sure our floors are clean. During your shift, you will be able to sweep with a toy broom and dustpan. After we close, you'll be able to vacuum the carpet and mop the tile floors. Remember to sweep prior to vacuuming and mopping. Of course, during the day, if you see trash, pick it up. The guest will see our commitment to cleanliness and it makes your job easier later. The vacuum is meant to pick up all micro trash, like crumbs, not sausage or napkins. Don't forget to empty the bag daily. Sometimes you'll need to spot clean gum or cake stains. It's simple. If you come across gum, use Goo Gone or ice and a gum scraper or plastic knife to loosen it up. If it's a cake stain, use a little bit of soda water and a towel or scrub brush to take it off. This is your store. Take pride in all you do. It reflects a little part of everyone that works in it. We also want to provide a safe environment for our guests. So there are several areas that we need to keep an eye on. If you see an unsafe condition, fix it or get a manager. All high chairs and baby changing stations need to have safety belts in working condition. Kids running, jumping up on the stage or playing unsafely needs to be addressed. Also, pick up any items that may be trip hazards. If we all watch out for safety, our guests will have a great time. Make sure you know the locations of all fire extinguishers. To use, stand eight to 10 feet away from the flame and pull the pin. Aim at the base of the flame and using a sweeping motion, squeeze the trigger. Your manager or Team 2 trainer will instruct you on all emergency procedures, including evacuation and meeting place in greater detail during your training. Next, you'll need to know how to answer the phone. We always answer it the same. Within three rings, say the following. Hi, we're making magic at Chuck E. Cheese's. This is Cindy, how can I help you? Say it with a smile, because making magic can be created just by a smile. Your manager will instruct you on how to clock in and clock out for your shifts. Remember, this is your paycheck, so make sure you don't forget. Prior to clocking in, your manager will inspect your uniform to ensure your appearance is 100%. Your manager will also inform you if and when you get a break. Be sure to clock out for all paid and unpaid breaks. And don't forget that we have a designated break area. Want to know what's expected of you during your shift? Just think tip top. That's talk into position and talk out of position. Every time you arrive to work, your manager will talk you into position. That's simply explaining your roles and responsibilities for the shift. This is typically done at the shift board where the plan for the day is listed. If you see something that needs attention and it's not your job, just jump right in. That's what teamwork's all about. It's also everyone's responsibility to make magic for our guests. That's the fun part. Making magic is showing genuine hospitality. It's talking with our guests, ensuring they have everything they need helping them throughout their stay. It's individualizing the guest experience. That means just making it special for our guests at every opportunity we have. Things like recognizing a birthday star no matter where you find them, helping first time guests, participating in our live or road shows, helping a guest with a high chair, refilling their drinks, helping kids win in the game room. Sometimes it's simply acknowledging any waiting guest with a smile and 
I'll be right with you. Hospitality is really just using your own personality to make each guest feel special. If you have any questions, now's a great time to ask your manager or your Team 2 trainer. We are glad that you're a member of our team. Make magic and have fun.